Hello again, it's Tom, and thank you for checking out my video. I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of my setup and detail how it was made in the hopes that maybe some of that information will help uh, other people and maybe help me figure out a few of my remaining issues. <clears throat> As stated before, I am a recovering cancer patient and have lost my teeth recently to the radiation, so I apologize for my speech if it is an issue. <clears throat> I use the E6 software for my simulator and the Mevo Plus. Um, the Mevo Plus has been updated with the Fusion tracking, just like all of them have. Um, the E6 software I use is not the iOS version. I do not own an iPad or an iPod or any of those things, and the sheer cost of buying one made it to where I would just rather purchase a single year of the E6 and get more courses, better graphics, and I also had a gaming PC that would be able to run it. All right, my simulator screen was brought for, bought from Amazon for under $100. It did not have grommets or any connectors to it. So I sewed bungee cords at various points to help attach it and give it a little bit of spring and kick back. <clears throat> Behind that, I have a foot gap to my wall, and there is an impact rug behind there uh, to help deaden the sound. I also installed some foam board insulation around the building to help with the sound and a little bit of heat retention. I have... A three hole six by eleven putting surface in front of my real tee hitting mat. Although it is a real tee mat, I do not like sticking tees in it. I use the little plastic pyramid versions that you see against the wall over there. That is my go to. I also have a attached putting area going this way, running parallel with my hitting. That way I well I tried to set it up the closest to how the flight scope people recommended. Um, completely level, brand new flooring all the way back to the Mevo, which I dormered out a section in the wall to make it able to reach the distance required. The building that I am in was very, very, very crooked and an old chicken coop. So hence the need to level the floor like you see right there. All the flooring was leveled with three quarter inch OSB and is only attached with minimal screwing. There is no wood, I mean no metal in the building other than the screws that are in the boards. So I've done my best to try to make a quiet room. I do have a Wi-Fi router in my building, but I have the antennas removed from it and only use it as a jumper to hook my computer hard line up. And uh, <clears throat> let's see. I only use LED lighting, so that shouldn't be an issue. There are no other electronics in the room except for a TV. I do have a small fan that I turn off during simulation, and also I do not use the Mevo plugged in. I have it plugged in until I start to use it, and then I remove the plug uh, from the power source because I've heard that that could be a source of problem. Alrighty guys, I appreciate you uh, checking out my setup. If you see anything that you think may be of concern, let me know. If you are got any questions about how I did something, let me know. Uh, like I said, I did it on a budget. I haven't been able to work for a couple years given my uh, health problems. So doing everything on the bare minimum budget was essential. Uh, again, have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.